Welcome to our application training for the CRM to Exchange Sync app. This training is a short training that will go over the steps required to run your CRM to Exchange Sync application. In this training, we will cover most of the features of the application, starting with how to set the lists to synchronize, executing the synchronization process, and modifying the list to synchronize. Let's go ahead and open our virtual environment to start the application. When the application is opened after the configuration has been completed, there are no lists visible in the synchronization lists grid. In order to add new CRM marketing lists to synchronize with Microsoft Exchange, we will click on the Add New Ribbon button. After the button has been clicked, a new list form opens up. We will select partners as the pre-existing list from CRM to use for the synchronization. Partners is a static marketing list. The current available distribution groups in Exchange will show the list's name dropdown under the Select Exchange Distribution List section. If you want to create a new list and do not want to use one of the existing lists in Exchange, we'll click the New button and type the name of the list in the designated box. Since we don't have a list called Partners, we'll create a new list and we'll call it Microsoft Partners. Once we've selected the list or created a new list, we'll click on the Save button. And the list has been now added to the list of groups to synchronize. Let's repeat these steps and add one more list. This time, we'll add the CRM list called Microsoft Contacts, and Microsoft Contacts is a dynamic marketing list in Microsoft CRM. We'll notice that there is a list called Microsoft Contacts in Exchange, so we will use that pre-existing list in order to add it to the synchronization grid. We'll click on the Save button again, and we'll now see that we have two groups to synchronize between Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Microsoft Exchange. At this point, we're ready to run the synchronization process for the first time. We start this process by clicking the Run Synchronization ribbon button. This will give us a message asking if we're sure that we want to run the synchronization process. We'll click on Yes and wait for the process to initiate and complete. Once the synchronization has been completed, we want to check or test the results in both CRM and Exchange to make sure that the synchronization was successful. To verify the results, we'll use the Microsoft Partner Static List. So we'll go into our CRM and we'll open up our Marketing List view and we'll notice that we have six contacts in that particular view. We'll minimize that view and open up our Exchange List, our Exchange Distribution List we'll refresh the list and we'll click on the Microsoft Partners to open up that distribution list we'll click on members and we'll see that we have the same six members on this list
let's go ahead and minimize exchange. In addition to running the synchronization process, many times we will want to run only synchronization on a particular list or on multiple lists. Now instead of having to go through the entire process of removing the groups and adding the groups back at a later stage, we can decide to highlight a particular group, click on change the status, and select disable. This process will disable the Microsoft Contacts group, which we previously synchronized with Microsoft Exchange, to synchronize in the next run of the product. If we want to go ahead and reactivate the product, we'll select the group that we want to reactivate, again click on Change Status, and re-enable it. If there is a group that does not require synchronizing any time in the future, we can go ahead and select it and remove that group from the list.